Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review over the Win products, the Win hair care products. And basically, this is more of a video on my experience over the last eight years of using Win products. So first of all, I want to kind of give you a little bit of back history on when I started using WIN, how I got to start to use WIN, and then I'll kind of tell you um, why I stopped WIN and the effects that WIN was having on my hair. Not only on my hair, my hair, but other aspects also. But anyway, we'll get into that later, you know, as we progress into the video. But first of all, I want to say probably about eight or nine years ago, I was avid QVC watcher. Watched QVC nonstop. Loved QVC. Ordered lots of things off of QVC. And um, you know how if you watch QVC or HSM or even your know, infomercials on how well those hosts that are selling the product to you really demonstrate and make you think that the product that you're purchasing is something that you have to have and that if you don't purchase it then your hair which is what we're talking about is not going to be the best that it could possibly be it's going to be dry and brittle your hair color is going to fade this that and the other and I will tell you that I bought into it hook line and sinker um, I was definitely an avid wind person a wind girl as they call it a wind girl um, I would not use anything to cleanse my hair other than wind products and I can show you here sit in front of me I have this great big one right here this is the tea tree I have the pomegranate I have the fig and these are all the great big bottles and I have the lavender in addition to countless bottles of all of the seasonal scents that he would come out with over the last few years. Anyway, I would use these because I honestly believed that if I didn't use these products that my hair color wasn't going to stay in, that my hair growth was going to be minimal and that if I didn't use these wind products that my hair was going to be dry and brittle and just wasn't going to be pretty. And I will tell you that I always, always receive compliments on how pretty my hair was. You know, all oh, your curls are so cute, they're so pretty, I'm so jealous, I wish I had curly hair. And I will tell you, it took me a very long time to embrace my curls. That's, that's a whole other video. Let me tell you about that. That's another video. But anyway, so I was very adamant with the fact that I honestly believed that these wind products that I have sitting here in front of me, I had to use. And if I even thought about using a shampoo or using a shampoo, all I could think about is if I use a shampoo, a traditional shampoo, was that I was just washing money down the drain with you know my hair color coming out because I did have my hair color treated. And when you first use these, you know your hair looks beautiful. Um, it's bouncy. It's shiny. It's manageable. It looks very pretty. Um, and you would think, you know, this is money very well spent because these bottles are not cheap. These are very expensive. And with the amount of product that you're supposed to use, it's not a very cost-effective product to use either because for this length hair, it's telling you to use 15 to 20 pumps of this product to cleanse your hair with. But, you know, the one of the concepts of using that much and for selling the product at the price that it was sold at was that it was replacing your leave-in treatment, your conditioner, your shampoo, a styling, um, a hair mask, you know, it was replacing all of those products and it was all, you know, into one. So anyway, I will tell you, after starting, you know, using the products, I was, don't get me wrong, I was always happy with my win and I didn't feel like I had any issues with the win. 
um, I was having issues with my hair falling out but I will tell you that during that time when I started using these products I was in a very high stress job I was a district manager for Walmart and let me that's the stressful it's a very stressful job if you've worked retail just even at the lowest level of a retail position it's stressful and then to be in a higher management position as a district manager it was very very stressful I a lot you know it's gone a lot from home um, I spent a year in Wyoming when my family was here in Oklahoma and it was a very stressful time um, when I, st I stepped down from being a district manager and then became an assistant manager with in hopes that you know that would reduce stress in my life which it did anyway that could be another video also but my hair continued to fall out even after you know reducing the amount of stress even though there was still a lot of stress even with being in management in any type of management position in retail so anyway um, oh don't tell me you're getting ready to be full my memory card is getting ready to get full so anyway uh, about five years ago I guess my husband and I made the decision that I would quit Walmart and be able to focus strictly on our businesses our personal businesses that we have but my hair continued to fall out and I'm not talking about falling out just a little bit because everyone's hair sheds and it's, it's a natural process for your hair to shed no my hair was falling out to the fact that it was coming out in handfuls when I would cleanse or because I'm using these products and you don't shampoo you're cleansing when I would cleanse my hair my hair was coming out in handfuls to the fact that so as I would cleanse my hair each time using one of these products and I have different ones that to were to address different issues with the hair maybe volume or like the tea tree was for scalp issues uh, pretty sure the lavender was to give you volume but anyway I would notice that handfuls of hair would come out would be on my hands when I you know, would go like this you know to, to cleanse my hair or when I would try and comb my hair there would be a lot of hair in the comb on the bathroom floor in the shower in the tub in the drains I mean we were having to my husband and I were having to declog my my drain in my tub in my sink at least once every couple weeks because there would be just so much hair coming out that it would you know clog everything up and you know like I said I was high stress job stepped down still in a high stress job was able to after 25 years to leave Walmart and continue to just work for my husband at our own businesses a whole lot less stress a whole lot less anyway um, still was having the hair coming out and you know I thought first I thought well it's just because you know my body's not adjusted to not being you know under all that stress and it's just going to take a while for things to get back into whack so to speak because it had been out of whack for so long that it was just going to take a while and um, then after a few years still having the hair fall out still using the wind and um, then I was just thinking well it's just because I've turned 40 it's my age you know my hair you know women older women start losing their hair you know it's a known fact we do start getting thinner as we age okay so you know still gobs and gobs and gobs of hair coming out I mean it was to the point where when I would get in the shower I would have to make sure that I did anything with my face first as far as cleansing it anything like that before I did anything with my hair because once I got my hair wet and started cleansing my hair there would be so much that would be in my face I couldn't see what I was doing it would just be everywhere it would be on my back 
all over my body. It was hard to get it all rinsed off because there was just so much. I mean, it wasn't just your normal hair coming out from everyday shedding that our body goes through. So then, you know, this went on, you know, again for a few more years and then I got into my mid 40s and hair is still falling out, it's taking biotin, trying different products to take, you know, internally thinking, you know, that would help with the hair growth. Nothing was working, still having the hair coming out to the point where my hair was getting so thin, even though you couldn't tell because it was so curly, it still looked like I had a lot of hair, but I could definitely tell the volume wasn't there like it once used to be. Even my hairdresser, who had been doing my hair for uh, quite a while, you know, was like, your hair, you know, is thinning. And I'm like, I know, I don't know what, why, you know, my age, you know, then I thought, you know, I'm 45. You know, premenopausal, you know, could that be it? You know, we know that things start getting dry during that time and brittle and a still, you know, process of when you get older, you know, things just start really changing. So just, you know, was assuming and chalking all of this up to just getting older, basically. First it was because I was under stress, and then once the stress was alleviated, eliminated, still the hair was falling out so then I just well it's just age it's just what I'm gonna have to live with it's just age that's causing my hair to fall out and you know um, I go from having beautiful thick curly hair to thinner curly hair it's still beautiful um, still get compliments on my hair but it's just not the same as it once used to be so anyway, you know, still using my Win products, still on auto delivery from QVC. I had not one time um, purchased any of my items from um, the infomercial and from Gunther Ranker. I know there's a little controversy out there saying that the products that they sell are different than the products that are sold, like at Sephora, Ulta, QVC. Um, there's even um, accusations that the product itself has changed over the years that it's not the same quality as it once used to be. Um, there are rumors that these products have in them the same products as in hair remover. I don't know that. I do not know that for a fact. I'm not a chemist. Yes, I can look at the ingredients, but those ingredients to me get very confusing as far as the aspect you know how they're listed on the label how they correlate and work together and what the um, effects of them are on your hair and body all I know is from my experience from what I have been dealing with and what I have faced while using these products so still using these up until I don't know maybe December of 2015 and just happened to be watching a YouTube video like I always do and I was watching Sweezy Bird and she was doing a haul video and she was showing you know a wind product that she had purchased in her haul I think she got it from Nordstrom you know and she made this this little small comment that immediately immediately I'm thinking what what wait 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 and the comment was Yes, I bought this product, and yes, I know about the class act lawsuit with Wynn. I'm thinking, what class act lawsuit? What lawsuit is there that's associated with Wynn? What's going on with Wynn that there is a lawsuit? So, I immediately go off of that video and start Googling the class action lawsuit with Wynn and start reading these horror stories from these women and men that have been using this product for so many years and that their hair has been falling down and I'm thinking and I've been using these products and that my hair has been falling out could it have been from this from a product that I bought that I firmly believed in 
that was purchased thinking that it was doing my hair justice and that it was good for my hair so I'm thinking no surely not surely that's not what it is so I stopped using these products as you can see I mean there's still this much here um, there's here I have these and then here I have full bottles of some seasonal scents that I had purchased because they were limited edition I sold those I immediately sold those I stopped using these products and within a couple weeks I started noticing a difference in my hair in the fact that there wasn't as much hair coming off of my head as there once was and I was thinking it's just coincidental it's just a coincidence that this would happen because we all know that our hair our bodies get adjusted to things you know whether it be exercise products whatever the case may be and then those products don't aren't as effective just because I quit using these and started using shampoo that you know my hair is just reacting differently so you know with this went on using you know shampoo and conditioner and I will tell you I was using uh, some Kerastase and also the um, Alterna Caviar is the hair products I was using and um, started noticing a huge difference in the fact that there wasn't as much hair coming off again the clumps the handfuls of hair coming out again once again I'm like no this, I'm not this that's it this has to be it this has to be what for the past eight years that I was you know thinking it was other factors in my life which and it could have been I'm not saying this was completely the culprit because there are a lot of things that affect us women and men differently but I will tell you from my little experiment experiment from stopping the win noticing a difference going back to the win and then noticing the hair coming out again and it wasn't just me that noticed it my husband he never notices anything he was like how come we're not having to clean out the drain as often what's going on anyway uh, my husband noticed he noticed that one we weren't having to clean out the drain every week every few days two he was noticing just the overall look of the hair my daughter noticed she's like your mom she's like your hair is really looking like it's getting really thick I'm like I know my hairstyle is definitely noticed because um, during this process my little experiment I didn't have my hair colored during that time frame or I haven't had it colored since. If this wasn't what was making this happen you know I don't want to spend the money to get my hair colored and then use a shampoo that's just going to strip it right back out so I haven't had my hair colored and I will tell you that it's not just you know my imagination you know my my hairstyle is noticed because when I went in for a haircut she's like your hair is starting to get thick you know it feels different than it used to plus I have new growth that's coming in and I know that I have new growth that's coming in for a couple of reasons one you know it's shorter there's shorter little hairs that are starting to stick up two unfortunately <laughs> the hairs that are coming out in new new growth are gray so I have lots of gray in my hair now I don't know if you'll see it a lot more than what I ever 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 had so I firmly believe that this, these products that are sitting here in front of me that I've showed you was the culprit of what was causing my, the majority of my hair loss. And since I've stopped using them, I've gone to the Kerastase line or the Caviar, the Alterna Caviar line. My hair has responded wonderfully to those lines. I haven't had, I mean, 
if I could have gone back and taken pictures and video of the amounts of hair that would be in my hair to now, you would be astounded. Um, I don't have the bald patches on my scalp or my hair like a lot of other people do. Um, maybe it's because I had so much hair to begin with, that big of effect, you know, physically showing, I guess, to you, to other people. You know, walking down the street, people aren't going to look and say, oh my God, she's lost a lot of hair. They're not going to say that. But anyway, um, that's, that's my story. That is my experience with the wind products. If I could go back in time and not have purchased these, I surely would. I would have never gotten started with these. And the only reason why I have these bottles here is I wanted, I saved them for you guys to show you in the video because I wanted y'all to see, you know, I just didn't, you know, have just a little bit and like, oh my gosh, just made my hair fall out. No, this was years of using this product, years of being totally 110% invested in this product and thinking that it was working good and not realizing that it was detrimental to my hair falling out to some self-esteem and I'm sorry about earlier when I get emotional about it and I'm th you're thinking well it's just hair think about it guys you know our hair um, is a symbol of a lot of different things in our culture in a lot of different cultures and whether we want to admit it or not we are pretty vain about our hair and when you start losing your hair and it can really, you know, have an effect on you. Now, I want to put out there, number one, I have no intention whatsoever of joining the class act suit. I have no interest in that at all. That's not why I'm making this video. Two, I'm not making this video to slam this company or to tell you not to purchase it. Everyone's hair, everyone's chemical, balance in their bodies is different. You have to make your own decision on whether or not you use a product for whatever reasons. Whether you do or you don't. That's that's your decision. That's As a consumer, that is your decision to make. I'm just here to tell you what happened to me and my experiment that I did and what the conclusion from that experiment was and the fact was that yes this is what made my hair fall out. I believe that firmly. I don't matter what anybody can say you're not going to sway me one way or the other saying well it was just coincidental. I don't believe it because I haven't used this product. I stopped in December. I used it again from mid-January to the end of January. And then I stopped again, and so it's been February, March, April, three months, and very minimal hair loss during the three months, and then during the two first months that I stopped using it. So I firmly believe that if this is a product that you want to use, just keep in mind that when you first start using it, you're going to see wonderful results. But the instant that you start noticing anything different, anything off with your hair, please stop. Please stop and do some research. Please stop and do some experimentation. Don't continue to live blindly in a world where you think that a product that is so hyped up on a show, a show that sells products or infomercials or whatever the case may be that you just continue to ignore the signs and continue to use the product. Anyway, that is it. That's all I wanted to say. It's going to be a very long video. I do apologize, but I felt it was very important that I told everyone my story and my experience using Win. Anyway, thank you so much and talk to you soon. Bye.